What is going on guys? My name is Everletcher and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. So before I actually hop into today's video, I just want to make sure to let you guys know to comment down below and tell me if you guys would like to see just some some video of me practicing um, 3 cat spam in the game. I need to practice it anyways, so if I can actually make a montage out of it or a gameplay out of it and you guys would watch that, that would be great and a huge time saver for me. So uh, make sure you let me down, let me know down below if you guys would like to see just a gameplay of me practicing 3 cat spam. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a top 5 maps in Pixel Gun 3D. Top 5 removed maps, that is. Um, so obviously, it's going to be all my opinion. So if you guys do have different opinions, then make sure you comment down below and tell me what yours are. Or if you do agree with mine, just let me know. Say, hey, I agree with all of your opinions right here in this video. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into this. So for every single map, I say I'm going to have gameplay up on the screen with the actual game the map music in the background as well. So you guys can hear exactly what it sounded like if you never get to play on them. Or if you guys did, then you can hopefully get some nostalgia from it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. So coming in at number five spot, we have Mafia Mansion. You guys might know this as Mafia Cottage if you played one of the later updates, but this map has actually came back recently for a very, very small time for one of the Brawl game modes, but it was removed very, very quickly as well. Um, this map was really fun. I have a lot of memories playing on it. It was really fun using your jetpack to fly up, and there was a few out of the map glitches on it, um, but the inside of the mansion was actually pretty confusing. I have no clue why they actually did remove it. Um, it was actually a pretty balanced map as it was, and it was a really fun map to play on, especially when you got onto the roof and then people had no clue where you were because they were straight noobs. But that's my number 5 spot, so let's go ahead and hop right into the number 4 spot. So coming into the number 4 spot, we have Secret Base. Now, lots of you guys might be thinking, Secret Base is one of the best maps in the game. Why is it placed at number 4? And the reason for that is because, one, um, to, personally to me, like it doesn't have as much nostalgia as the first as number 3 spots. But um, also because this map, when this came in, the update kind of marked the downfall of Pixgun 3D and whenever it actually started to get kind of bad. And that's one of the memories that I have when I look at this map was, wow, this map was great, but at that time, all the updates after this map was brought in were actually pretty bad. And it kind of marked wherever when I started to quit the game at first. So that's why that one's mar marked at the number four spot. But overall, the map was great. If you talk about just the map, then obviously this thing might be number one. I don't know if you guys tell me down below. There's some other really cool maps in this list. So um, let's go ahead and go into number three. So coming into the number three spot, we have Dangerous Rose. This one was actually removed a long time ago. It's one of my favorite maps. I remember just going off with the prototype and the Hellraiser on this map because scoped weapons were the GOAT when it came to this map. This map had everything. It had close range, it had long range, it had mid range. It was a really, really big map though. It was really fun to use. Jetpacks were really OP in it. It was just really fun to fly on top of the little city type things. I don't know what it is, some type of structure. It was really fun to fly up on top of that and just snipe people with a prototype because the prototype was really OP at the time. Um, I used to always play local matches with my cousins on this map because it was just a really fun map to do death matches on and also do two versus one to see who was actually the best at the game. So that's one reason why I really like this map so much. Um, so let me know down below what your thoughts are on this map and let's go ahead and hop right into number two spot. So the number two spot is honestly probably my favorite map on this entire list, but I'm not going by which one's my favorite, but which one I would most want to see come back into the game. That's why this one's not number one. But the number two spot is Four Seasons. If lots of people did not like Four Seasons, and I do not know why. Probably because you kept falling off into that endless void, and it was just really aggravating. I know that was, but I just love the map overall. The update was really cool, as you had Mr. Squido come into the game at that time, and it was really OP at the time if you could actually get your good accuracy on. It was like four... It was, the map was four seasons, basically. It's summer, winter, fall, spring. The map was really fun as it is, but it was removed really fast and lots of people did not get to enjoy the actual fun that the map had. Um, I really just loved having me and my two cousins stay on the same team and just snipe people throughout the entire map and just find those really really cool nooks and crannies and hiding places that were in the map because it was a pretty large map and there were lots of hiding places in it and there were lots of camping spots you could do to snipe. So it was a really fun map, I really miss it, I really wish they would bring it back. But with that being said, let's go ahead and go over some notable mentions. So these notable mentions are not good enough to make the cut. I really wish they were. I could have done a top 
10 and got all of these in there, but I want to do the top 5 and sum it down even more. So, coming in at the first notable mission, we have Shooting Range. Shooting Range was a map that lots of people did not play on, but when you did, it was a really fun map because it was so small. You could get really high kill games on it because they did not have that really, really aggravating, obnoxious respawn delation, delay, whatever you want to call it. I just butchered that sentence. They did not have the respawn delay, and it just made it really, really fun to actually play on because you could get really high kill games there, and it was really fun to test out weapons there because it was such a small map. It was also the tutorial map at the time, um, but now they changed it to a different shooting range, and I really don't like the new one. The old one was so much better, and I really wish they'd bring it back and change it, but with that being said, let's go ahead and next, hop to the next one. So the next note to mention is the OG Aztec Temple. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, the Aztec Temple that is in the game right now is not the original one that it had. The original one actually had a few stuff moved to different places, but it was not snowy. And that's what I really don't like about this one because it's not snowy, it does not bring the full nostalgia back to me. And that's really why I did not want to put this in the top five because they technically already have the map back, just it's a little texture changes. I didn't want to be like, oh, well, you, did, you got this one texture wrong, so you can't have it in the top five. You, you, you guys suck. I didn't want to be like that, so that's why it's not there. I hope you guys really agree with that, um, but I do wish they could change the one within the game back to the OG one with the green textures instead of the white. But uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get the next one. So the next one is Inside the Code. Inside the Code was a fun map, but it was a very, very complicated map because you're sitting there bouncing around constantly because it had like low gravity and everything was a trampoline, so you're jumping on everything. So the next one is Scary Pizzeria. I personally did not play on this one a lot, but I do know a lot of people who did. And um, there was really lots of fun little hiding spots in that map because like it was such a tight map, but it was actually really big as well. And it was just a really fun map to play. They do have it in a few game modes right now, but they do not have all of them. And the last one is Train Depot. Train Depot they do have for one of the game modes. I forget what it's called. They have it on one of the game modes, but I mean, it's not like I, I miss it on Team Fight. You, like, all these maps used to be on Team Fight and they used to be so fun, but they don't have Train Depot on Team Fight anymore, which is very, very saddening to me because that was honestly the map I played on the most whenever I was playing in my prime days of Pixel Gun 3D. But those are all my notable mentions. Let's go ahead and hop into the number one spot. You guys have probably already guessed it, by the way. If you guys did guess it, make sure you comment down below and say, hey, Everletcher, I guessed it. Haha, <laughs> you suck. But number one spot is Science Lab. Now, the reason why Science Lab is here because it was just a fun, interesting, interesting, very, very creative map. They had lasers, they had lava, they had trampolines, they had little toilets in the map. And honestly, I like it a lot because of Los Gaming subscriber deathmatches that he did on it. I loved his subscriber deathmatches. I really miss Los Gaming. Los, if you're watching this, you're an OG. We all miss you. But you had to do what you had to do. But. Science Lab is one of my favorite maps of all time. It really needs to come back. I really wish they would bring it back. Everyone was asking for it to come back when they were asking for old maps to bring back. But for some reason, they just did not add it back. Hopefully, it's coming very, very soon. I really hope to see it. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below all the things I told you to comment throughout the video. And, I mean, if you guys did enjoy it, leave a like. If you guys didn't, I guess you can leave a dislike. If you guys do want to see more content, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss an upload. If you guys do want to see a top 5 removed weapons in the game, I will do that. Just let me know. And, um, yeah. So, I'm sorry for actually pulling this video out a bit longer than it should have been. But, with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Tell me pretty lies Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake